Chantley Painter reporting. Forecasters say Milton could potentially reach Category 4 status, but weakened to Category 3 before landfall. Category 4, TJ, is no joke. Absolutely not. Winds of uh, like 130, 140 miles an hour certainly could be a devastating storm mm -hmm. if it stays that strong. Either way, everybody on the uh, Florida Panhandle needs, not Florida Panhandle, Florida Peninsula needs to prepare for this hurricane. You can see it down there, left side of your screen, kind of meandering around uh, down there in what we call the Bay of Campeche. We are expecting it to strengthen into a major hurricane today. Yeah, forming into a Category 4 storm and then maybe down to a 3, but I think people on the west coast of Florida should prepare for a Category 3 or 4 hurricane sometime making landfall a Wednesday late afternoon noon or evening looking at the winds around landfall core of the winds about 130 to 140 miles an hour somewhere either near Tampa St. Pete or maybe a little bit farther on off to the south rainfall amounts are expected to be anywhere between 6 and 12 inches of rain especially just to the north of the track uh, then that will obviously produce a lot of flooding and speaking of flooding storm surge flooding right now expected to be anywhere between 8 and 12 feet uh, from north of Tampa Bay all the way down into southwest Florida as uh, Milton continues to work its way toward western Florida. So that's what we're tracking with Milton. Does not look like it will have any impact on us. Of course, we'll continue to watch it. Newport right now, good visibility, temperature of 59 degrees, wind from the southeast at 6 miles an hour. Uh, the threat tracker for today, we're expecting just some nuisance showers today. Should be out of here by mid-afternoon. Then we'll see improvements Tuesday, Wednesday. Looking pretty good, although a little on the cool side. 66 degrees, what we're expecting for a high today. The low this morning was at 50, more or less in the ballpark of a typical October 7th here. In uh, southeast New England, temperatures are at 53 in Smithfield. A little cooler, Hope Valley, 48. A little milder westerly at 61. Narragansett, 58, 59 in Newport. Over there in New Bedford, about 49 degrees. A little shower moving on through. Looking at more in the way of showers just off to our west. They're associated with a frontal system that's going to be advancing in over the next uh, oh, 12 hours or so. Let's track it with our hour by hour forecast looking at rain showers to be moving through this morning and into mid afternoon and then I think we'll begin to see the sunshine return by late afternoon but cooler air will be spilling in tonight with clearing skies tomorrow I'm thinking will be dry on Wednesday I'm thinking will be dry as well but staying kind of cool here in southeast New England all right forecast for today temperatures should be topping out at around 66 degrees with showers around this morning into early to mid afternoon then we should begin to dry out for tonight. We're looking at low temperatures down to around 48 degrees. Skies continuing to clear out and then for tomorrow after that coolish start we will be up around 66 in the afternoon with sunshine mixing with a few clouds. Looks dry for tomorrow. Here's a seven day forecast sunshine for Wednesday 63, but that morning low 43. Look at the morning lows Thursday, Friday 40, 41 degrees. That's for the Providence area outside the city. There'll be many 30s Thursday and Friday morning maybe even Wednesday morning, but we're looking at sunshine as we go into the weekend looking really nice right now. Saturday and Sunday 60s to low 70s with sunshine full forecast. You can always get it at WPRI.com.